Hey everybody, Paul here with the Stream Geeks, and I want to talk about using OBS for sports. Uh, let's take a look. I just have a brand new book called How to Live Stream Sports Like a Pro. <clears throat> and as you may know, I actually have an online course, the OBS Super User Guide Book, and I know many of you are going to want to use OBS to live stream sports. So let's jump into it really quickly. Um, I've got a lot of experience live streaming sports with OBS. And I'm going to give you some really good tips today. First of all, I'm going to show you how to get some really cool graphics. And I'm going to use overlays.uno, which I have brought in to OBS with a web browser input. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I have a smartphone here, which is going to show you how I can actually very easily give someone on my team a access to a smartphone. And you'll see here, as I click these buttons, I can actually update the score. So if we cut back to uh, the scoreboard here, you'll see as I update these, the scoreboard is updating with the, the new title. So very, very cool stuff that we can do uh, with overlays.uno. So I'm going to show you how to add really great sports graphics to your production using that scoreboard overlay here. And then I'm going to show you how to use PTZ cameras with OBS. You can see here, I've got a pan tilt zoom camera and a lot of our customers are using PTZ cameras, whether it's for basketball, whether it's for soccer, whether it's for you know football, you can use PTZ cameras and follow the action up and down the field, zoom in. And I'm going to also show you today, this is super cool. One of my, uh, this is something I'm really excited about is I'm going to show you instant replay in OBS. So this is huge. I'm going to show you how to do instant replay. Uh, I'm going to go over it quickly in this video. I have an instant replay controller in front of me here. I'm going to show you how this works. And then I am going to go ahead and show you kind of how to scrub through the video. So I can like jog through this video here using an instant replay controller. Mike, why don't we show this instant replay controller that I have here? This is the Roland uh, P 20 HD. So I'm going to dig deep dive into this in the next video, but I'm going to try to show you all of this in one cool layout here. We've got a bar for going faster and slower and speeds. We have a jog dial where we can shuttle through footage very quickly. And I'm going to show you how all of this works uh, in a second video. Just because it's so deep today in this video, I just want to show you all the cool things that you can do with OBS for live streaming sports. So first, let's start with the graphics. Now, I wanted to mention quickly that if you really want to deep dive into OBS, get the OBS Super User Guidebook. You can download it for free off our website. I go over everything that we're using here. Uh, I go over the Instant Replay. I go over the NDI plugin and a lot of the things we're going to talk about today in more detail here. So I'm going to be moving kind of quickly because I just want to overview everything. And then I'm going to go deep dive into the instant replayer in our next video. Okay, so if you don't have the NDI plugin for OBS, I would consider getting it. That's how we are going to show how we're going to bring in video from uh, our cameras into uh, OBS. The other thing we're going to show today is how to bring in the instant replay system into OBS. That's actually going to use an HDMI capture card. So you can take an HDMI input from a camera into the instant replay system. You can take a USB connection from HDMI out of the instant replay, USB into your OBS computer. That's how we're bringing the instant replay system into OBS. Now you might be thinking, why aren't you just using the built-in OBS instant replay system? Well, OBS does have, and I'm going to cut to this here and show this, OBS does have a replay buffer built in. But quite frankly, it's really often, you can see it here in the corner here, and I have it enabled. Uh, if you want to use it, you can go into settings, and you can go to your output, and there's a replay buffer here that allows you to you know, set a maximum replay. So a lot of people have it by default at 20 seconds here, you can see. Um, so you can use this, but it doesn't have slow motion instant replay. It doesn't have a jog dial. A lot of the things that you kind of need for sports instant replay. Like if I'm trying to find a specific area of a, you know, a match, for example, or if I want to slow down the footage, 
and, and replay it. Uh, this is the kind of thing that uh, you kind of need an instant replay system for. So I'm going to show that. And then I'm going to talk about these graphics. So let's start with us getting sports graphics into OBS. Then we'll talk about getting cameras into OBS. And then we'll talk about doing instant replay. And then all, after all of that together, you're going to have a pretty good idea how to set up an OBS system for capturing video, ideally at 60 frames a second. Sports is best live streamed and recorded in 60 frames a second. So it's a lot of fast movement. So we'll talk about adding your cameras, adding graphics. Uh, you can obviously record and live stream with OBS. And then finally, we'll look at the instant replay system. And then our next video will really deep dive into how to use instant replay and best practices. All right. So I have installed the NDI plugin for OBS. This is a plugin that you install. It does not come included with OBS. This is how I'm going to bring in my video from my cameras. And I have an NDI camera right here in front of me here. Uh, this is the camera that I'm going to be using today. This is a PTZ Optics Move 4K. Uh, it does 4K at 60 frames a second. Uh, but actually, we can use a Move SE as well if you want to do 1080p productions. The important thing is to do 60 frames per second, especially with instant replay, just so that you get super smooth, crisp video when there's a lot of motion. So I'm going to bring that video in to OBS with NDI. So let me show you how I do that. So I just hit the plus button here, and then I'm going to choose the NDI connection. So you can see one of the options here is going to be NDI. And when I click the NDI media source, uh, all of the NDI sources on my network are going to come up. So this is basically an IP video system. All the NDI sources that are available to me are going to show up right here. And I can just choose one. And I'll choose one just right here for an example. The bandwidth I have set is set to highest. And I'm going to explain what that means. But essentially, that means that uh, the IP settings for this camera are going to be uh, pulling in the highest quality. So I believe this is one of the cameras. Uh, let's see, which, which camera do I have set up here? Let's, uh, I have, this camera is the one I'm going to use as an example. It's 192.168.65. That's the IP address of the camera. And I wanted to log into it just to show you how this kind of works from a IP level. Uh, you can basically have the camera you can control the PTZ. So this is great if you're at back at a press box or you're somewhere where you want to remotely control the camera. And then I'm just going to go into the audio and video and make sure that it's set to 60 frames per second there. Okay. So I've got my video here. I also have a dockable plugin. You can see directly in OBS, I can pan, tilt, and zoom the camera as needed remotely, right? I don't have to be at the camera like a camcorder. Now, if you're doing a lot of sports production, I do recommend using a joystick controller. This is our SuperJoy controller here. This controller allows you to control a variety of remotely controllable cameras. I highly recommend getting one of these for following action with sports. This is becoming a lot more popular. Uh, you can see here at a high school that I was at recently, Silesianum High School is using PTZ cameras to live stream. And the cool thing about these cameras, uh, if you see here on the video output, uh, they can control them remotely from the press box and they can actually auto track. So you can set up a PTZ optics camera to automatically follow the subject. And this works really well in a lot of sports. In fact, one of the examples I'm going to show today is tennis. And if we look at this footage here, you can see the cameras automatically tracking uh, the subject and we can have it go back and forth, and I can have my graphics and overlays. So we've brought in the camera via NDI, right? It's set up in my system at 1080p at 60 frames per second, and now I'm going to add the graphics overlay. Now, my, one of my favorite graphics overlay systems is actually called overlays.uno, and this is a really cool system. You can choose from tons of different free sports graphics overlays here. 
I mean, just look at all the ones they have. And to set them up, it's so easy. You click it, you add it to your overlay section, and boom, you've got it. Now, once you have it, you can copy and paste the output URL, which is in the top right here. So once you copy and paste that, you can use that as a browser input inside of OBS, and it'll come right in, which is exactly how I have this scoreboard. So let me delete it and re-add it so you can see how easy this is. So I click the plus button. I choose browser input. I'm going to call this scoreboard. And then I'm going to copy and paste the URL. And this is a 1920 by 1080p video. And boom. Now that this is in, my graphics start to go. And if we cut back to my smartphone here, you will see that I can easily update this with the with just literally a web browser. So this is just my smartphone here, okay? I'm just using my smartphone to manipulate these graphics because it's all web-based. So I just really enjoy overlays.uno here. Um, you can see here there's all kinds of options for having, you know, literally they've, they've really just built it out for graphics, built it out for uh, overlays and streaming. Uh, and so all you can pretty much find anything you need and it's completely free uh, for these graphics. So really, really enjoy uh, working with these. They're web-based. That means they are super fast, super easy, low processing on your computer. And you can see here, I've got another one. This is a, like literally a football field um, setup where we have the ability to do the players and the formations. And all of this is free and included. And you can customize the colors and the graphics all within, oops, there we go, all within here. So super cool, easy to use, and to trigger with any computer. So you can have a second person on a computer anywhere in the world taking care of your scoreboard, your graphics, and your overlays. You can see how easy it is to just change the name, and it will all change and update for you. Very, very cool stuff. And you've got your one URL for your you know, overlay and then another URL for your control. They even give you a QR code so that you could just scan it with, with, with your smartphone. So that's how we're going to get the graphics into OBS. So we've gotten cameras into OBS. We talked about controlling them with PTZ control. Now let's take a look at instant replay, which I know is something that is super important for a lot of people. So I did. I don't know if I, sh I showed this briefly, but the instant replay system we have is connected to a capture card, which is connected to OBS. So let's take a peek at this instant replay system. This is the Roland instant replay system. On the left-hand side, we have a bar for slowing down and speeding up the replay itself. Okay, we're recording everything. So this is a great system for recording everything whether it's live or in preview. So that's, our, that's the live button there for output. Uh, in fact, if we go to the uh, overview here, I just wanna uh, show quickly how all of this works. We can do all my, all my clips are here. So if I make a clip and then uh, you, you basically clip in when you have, uh, when you're like, okay, something's happening. I wanna clip in real quick to start recording and then out to stop recording. So you, when, whenever there's a play, you can very quickly clip in and then go out. And that's what you create clips. And you can go to these different clips and decide when you want to replay them. When you're replaying them, you can literally go back to replay. So the output is now the replay. And you can play, you can pause. And then one of my favorite things here is you can jog through. So this is a dial here where you can jog through. And if you go to my output, in OBS now, you'll see that I can, okay, here we go, let's go to this. Uh, you will see that I can jog through this footage, stop it, start it, or just play it through and change the speed. So if you go back and forth between my live view of the Roland and what I'm showing here, you'll see that I have the ability to change the speed with this bar here. I have the ability to jog through. And I can even do shuttle, which is the ability to quickly go in and out of this footage. So it's really cool. I've, I've been having a blast with it. And honestly, if you want to do instant replay with OBS, in my opinion, this is really the way to do it. So I'm going to do a deeper dive into all of this and uh, 
in an upcoming video. Don't forget to get my new book, How to Livestream Sports Like a Pro, where I go into multiple different instant replay systems and how to use OBS for sports and just how to livestream sports like a pro. Literally, from you working with commentators, start to finish, all the different instant replay systems. OBS is just one software out there. There's many others as well. So download the new book at uh, streamgeeks.us sports, and I'll see you in the next video.